Hey guys, Pete Blake back here again with another video and this time I'm going to be showing you how to get this awesome massive ship. Let's get to it shall we? First things first guys, we need to have completed the quest all that money can buy. It is the sixth quest part of the main story of Starfield. So make sure to have completed that quest. After having completed that quest, returning to the lodge and I won't spoil you the, what happens. But after that, when you are around Walter, he will say that he has a job for you. Selecting this option and asking him for work, he will initiate the quest for you. The quest is called Over Designed. When you get the quest, you'll be tasked to go to the Stroud Eklund Star Yard, which is in the Narians system. It is a star station and it is right here. Once you're in orbit guys, you need to fly to the actual star station and dock onto it. If you're not sure how to dock, check out my guide on the top right on how to dock your ship. Once inside guys, you need to follow the path and go through the corridor. Just take a left here and go through this door to find Jules. You need to speak with her. Now a couple of things to note here guys, go ahead and save before doing this because you're going to need to persuade Jules. And if you don't have the skill to help you out, you can use this consumable to increase your persuasion for this task. It's called Hippolyta, you can buy it or you can find it pretty much anywhere. Now before the persuasion part guys, there is a very important option that you need to choose during the dialogue. And that is when talking regarding the budget is to choose that you would like to choose the kitchen sink budget if you don't choose the kitchen sink budget you will get the wrong ship we're aiming for the kepler r which is the class c ship if you choose the wrong option you'll be stuck with the kepler s which is the class b and we don't want that we want the better ship now here is the persuasion dialogue guys I'll just let it play out for you just so you can see the choices that I picked. Be mindful, it may be different for you. Maybe. I won't rule it out. Okay. I think you made some good points. I'll go to the board with the kitchen sink proposal and get that approved. Form design Next up guys, you will need to gather some market research data and for that you need to do two things. One is to do two missions, one being a passenger and a bounty. You need to do both. And the second is to give feedback to all the members of the design team. So give them positive feedback on all the members. That's Jules and the rest here at the table. And then do the missions. Wait, really? I was expecting you'd have to argue a bit more than that. That's a relief. Now guys, with Ella over here, it's a bit different. She does ask you a couple of questions. I will leave the full dialogue with her for you so you can see which are the correct answers. I'll just speed it up a little bit. A complete disaster. As long as you are willing to listen to us, we may still avoid that outcome. Now, I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current Starship market? Uh, yes, finally, a kindred spirit operating on my own wavelength. You see, while many ships will operate to that end, few ships are designed with exploration as their primary goal. It is my belief that if we build a ship with that in mind, Strata Clint will dominate that market sector. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration fueled by ordinary people like you and me. Thanks. Let me tell you, we would not regret going with my idea. This is a chance to do something that will truly inspire future generations. Okay, yeah. Next up we have Nev, and you just basically have to agree with her choice. Oh, really? Wow, I... <laughs> Thank you. I'm... 
Next up is Frank and it's the same, just agree with him and give him positive feedback. And finally Jules, again, just like her f idea and that's it. Next up is the missions that you have to do guys, one bounty and one passenger, that's it. Now keep in mind here guys, if you don't have enough space on your spaceship, to carry the scientists or the workers, you will not be able to accept the mission and you will get something like this. Now guys, you may wonder why even if after unassigning all your crew members off your ship, why you still get that message. Let me show you why. If for example, you're using the Razor Leaf, the Razor Leaf, even though it can carry three crew members, it actually doesn't have any passenger slots, so you will not be able to do the mission. Um, here are the parts which show the crew stations, as you can see two, and there is one more. But there are no passenger slots on the ship. So even if you remove all your crew, you still will not be able to do the passenger missions because you have nowhere to carry them. There are certain components that carry passengers specifically. So I was using a different ship which also didn't have any passenger slots at the time. As you can see, it's this one. It's a random ship I stole of a couple of enemies. And you can see here under the hub section, there are certain components that have passenger slots. Not cruise slots, not cruise stations, but passenger slots. And you need those in order to do the passenger missions. If you don't have one of these, you will not be able to complete the mission and forever get that message. The passenger missions with the least amount of passengers that you can carry will be two. You saw earlier in my example, there were three and four, but you can actually reset the missions off the board and I'll show you how just now. So, Make sure to have passenger slots on your ship in order to complete the passenger mission. One thing to note here guys is if you don't want to edit your ship that you have and which doesn't have passenger slots, feel free to use the frontier that you got at the start of the game. As you can see it has two passenger slots. Just make sure they are free. Let's get back to the missions now. Now, as I mentioned before, you can reset these missions and get ones with less workers, for example, because this one was five, right? I don't have five passenger slots. So go ahead and reset it by sitting on the on the bench here. You have to wait 48 hours. So since you can only wait at 24 hours, you just have to do this twice. And here we are, guys. New set of missions after resetting them after sleeping, uh, waiting for 48 hours. I had got passenger ones which require two traders to be trans uh, transported. There we go. So if you don't have the space for them, simply reset the missions until you get one that suits the space you have for your ship. And here's the bounty mission that I did guys, just showing you what, what it was. It's straightforward, it will usually just be to destroy an uh, enemy ship. And that's it and here is the transport mission guys just so you can see it nothing special you will see them on your ship and just take them to their destination After you've completed both missions guys, simply return to the Star Yard and speak with Jules to pretty much complete the quest. Keep in mind of the dialogue choices here, 
I will leave it for your reference if you'd like to see the choices that should be selected. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> You seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? Hmm. I can't believe I didn't think of that. It's fair. Everyone goes around the table and makes a cut. That way no one feels like they're the only one being asked to compromise. This should drive us towards a more focused design. And since Walter asked you to take the lead on this, I don't have to be the villain here. So you're sure about this? Great! Let's get ready to disappoint everyone equally! <sighs> well, here goes nothing. Okay, everyone. Our friend here, remember, not me, has decided in order to move forward, we're going to go around the table and everyone is going to give up one major aspect of your design. It's the fairest way to do this, and ultimately, I think it's going to make our collective design choices a lot easier. Who wants to start? <coughs> okay, fine. I'll go first. I'm willing to cut some of the included hard points. It'll mean less firepower, but the consumer can still add them afterwards, I suppose. Uh, you're looking at me, huh? I guess that means you want me to go. Oh, look, I'll be easy. You know I wasn't looking for anything fancy, but if I've got to make cuts, uh, we can reduce some of the cargo base. Uh, I guess we can cut some of the extra sensors and data collection equipment. As long as this thing can still make it to deep space and back with no problem, I'll be happy. Um, I'd be willing to give up some of the passenger space, maybe. Yeah, that should be okay. Frank? Mm, okay, fine, you win. I'll cut out some of the luxury designs and features. All that gold trim was going to be tacky anyway. Well then, that wasn't so bad. I feel much more confident we can actually build this thing. This is going great. Just fantastic. Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of stuff to it. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. After that, just return back to the lodge and speak to Walter and tell him that you've completed the ship and he will reward you with the first one. Then just return to the spaceport guys and go back to your ships and select your new and epic Kepler R class C ship. Make it your home ship and have fun. It is a big upgrade, has crew members 6, mass 2642, it's just amazing, it's huge. <laughs> Let me show you the ship right now.
and that'll be all for this video guys i hope you're enjoying the starfield guys that i'm making if you do please consider subscribing and giving them a like thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye for now